Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going to see the pointer operations in C language. Pointers are mainly used for memory handling. That too, dynamic memory handling. Okay. If you see here, I have declared an integer, but I have used a star p. Whereas so far we have used int x without the star symbol. The moment you give a star symbol to a variable as a prefix, then it becomes a pointer. Pointer is nothing but imagine pointer like a pointer like post box number. By having a post box number, you cannot see your letters. So you need to identify that particular post box using that number, then open the post box. Whereas there is something called a point T. Point T is the actual storage. This is the actual post box. If you see here, when you declare int x, it creates a name x. At the same time, it allocates two bytes to this. So in that you can store some values. Whereas the moment you give star p, it doesn't have a storage by itself. You can have only the po the address of that memory location. It will it has to point something. So this is a pointer. This is a variable. Now look at this. I am assigning 15 to x directly. Now what I'm doing is the pointer p is assigned to the address of x. So this x is somewhere stored in the main memory, some location out of your 2 GB or 3 GB RAM, wherever. That location's address is now assigned to the pointer p. So this is a post box number. x also has something called ampersand x, that is the address of it. So I am assigning that address to p. Now I am printing star p. This star operation is called dereferencing or nothing but don't use the address just go to the location and fetch the value so whenever you are using ampersand for a variable that's the address whenever you are using star that is the dereferencing you are actually going to the location and fetching the value itself I am not printing X if you look at the steps carefully I have declared a pointer I have declared a variable I have assigned some value to x, I have assigned that address of x to p, I am printing star p. Now look at this, what is the result? The result is going to be not just some address, it is going to be the value of x. Let us, let us try that. See here, it is printing x is 15. I have not printed percentage dx. If you carefully look at it, I have printed x is percentage d, but star p. Star p means p has the address or the location of x. The moment you give star p, it goes to that particular location, gets that value, prints it. So this is the fundamental use of pointers you can go to any location and then get the value now if I have x comma y now I am assigning x equal to 15 now let me do the same thing y equal to 20 p equal to ampersand y now let us do this print here okay then we will do the print over here so first p is pointing to x, then p is pointing to y. Now let us print it. So x is 15, y is 20. In both the cases, I am using the same pointer. But when I am assigning that pointer to the address of x, it is pointing to x. When I am assigning the address of y, it is pointing to y. So when though I am using star p over here and star p over here, depending upon to where it points, it takes the value from that particular location. This is the fundamental principle of pointers. Okay, let us look at this example. Now, 
what we are having is a character pointer okay character star p now i am trying to copy this string how are you and then i am trying to print this by default as i said whenever there is a pointer created there is no memory location allocated when you try to run this program you will have you will get into problems let us watch it whether it is able to copy whether it is able to print it now let me execute this if you do this it doesn't print anything you could see an hourglass this command prompt is getting into your the result screen is getting into your problem it doesn't print anything it doesn't store anything so i have to come out of it okay so it's a big problem to me so i have to do a control c and then get out of it whereas i want to allocate memory dynamically to the pointer how do i do that to do that use memory dot h and then use this thing malloc memory allocation i am going to allocate 100 bytes and then this is called a type casting okay when you say within bracket character star this allocates 100 locations and then i want to convert that to a pointer of the character then i am assigning that to p so this is called explicit type casting this malloc allocates 100 bytes in the memory the address of that will be given that will be converted to a character pointer and that will be assigned to p initially the pointer is declared no memory is allocated the moment you use malloc which is called from memory dot h then the space is allocated then you can copy then you can print this time it should work fine let us check it out cool it is printing how are you previously it was not doing that because no memory locations were allocated only a pointer was allocated now a memory location is also allocated so you are able to handle that so if i want to allocate memory use malloc this is a very simple command but this is able to allocate but most importantly you need whenever you are allocating you need to free that if you forget to free that it will become a garbage how to free that now look at this i have got two print statements one is after allocating after malloc i have assigned that to that string and then i am printing after malloc that string now i have used the word free the moment you use free the locations allocated to that pointer are gone whatever that has been done m malloc memory malloc they are all freed back to the free space of the system's ram now i am printing after free i am printing this let us see what happens over here it says after m malloc how are you it was able to store that value after doing the free nothing is printed because those locations are gone so you need to always make sure whenever you are allocating something you have to free that otherwise you will get into problems okay going one step further now we have allocated memory in a single statement i want to assign some values to the whole memory location you use something called memset memset has got three parameters the pointer then with what character you want to fill that then how many characters how many locations you want to fill with the same thing okay now we have got 100 locations that means 0 to 99 so the moment i give 99 locations rather than 100 locations it will take from 0 to 98 location then i am printing that the important point is the moment you allocate m malloc the space is not initialized with null not backslash 0 so it may have junk values or stray values or garbage values so you need to be always doing memset for all the locations properly let us try to print this okay now you see here after memset all the locations were initialized to 1 since you have not initialized the last location with backslash 0 it is printing some junk value which you and i do not know what it is okay after allocation after string copy it is terminating with backslash 0 so no problem 
now you see here what I want to do is memsat okay the same thing all the hundred locations all the hundred locations I am going to have backslash zero okay backslash zero that means initially all the locations will be terminated with uh, backslash zero then I am initializing all the locations with X then I am copying this okay now you won't see those junk values let us see this look at this now all the locations were initialized with X since it was terminated with backslash 0 already you don't see those junk values at the end of the string so this is dynamic memory allocation and handling so always you need to allocate if you are using a simple pointer either you, it must point to some other variable which has already allocated space or you need to allocate space explicitly using malloc you need to set that with initialization and you need to make sure it is freed if you do not free it will cause memory leaks memory leaks are dangerous operations if the program is running frequently it will start losing 100 bytes by 100 bytes at some point of time your system will crash so you need to be very very careful when you are dealing with dynamic memory allocations especially with pointers if pointers are messed up there's a potential chance that your program may break so you need to be always very very careful that you are handling the pointers and then those pointers are pointing to valid memory locations either through some other variables or through malloc and free thank you